Have you ever wondered, can you get started in IT? Should you get started in IT? Hello, Wes Bryan here, edutainer at IT Pro TV. And in this edition of How to Get Started in IT, I want to tell you how I got started in IT. Coming up next. So let me tell you a little story. I was working at a Dairy Queen by the interstate, and I had to work 50 to 60 hours just to make anything that resembled a paycheck. My wife and I had recently started our family. I had had enough, and I went to my boss to quit. And he said he didn't want to see me leave just to start another fast food job. So he challenged me to go to tech school. A challenge that wouldn't happen unless I received funding. Thankfully, through family and scholarship, I did. And I committed myself to my studies as I thought, this is my chance. I was even studying on my cigarette breaks behind the store that I worked at. And when the time came for the first exam, I was extremely nervous, maybe like you are, but I took the exam anyways and guess what? I passed. And my second A plus exam, I did even better. Now, an opportunity came up for us, the students, to get to deploy a classroom of computers. All my fellow students jumped in to help, but instead of fighting for position, I offered to break down the cardboard boxes that the computer arrived in and, well, push a broom, you know, the cleanup. Tim Broom, the CEO of IT Pro TV here, was also the CEO of that tech school. He recognized the hard work and that I didn't need to do glorious work, but whatever it took to get the job done. He offered me a facilities position at the tech school. This was one I gladly accepted. Yay, I am no longer in fast food. I got to work with technology and the tech school got a hard worker. So I started working at the school while still prepping for the next exam. You know, verifying the info I was learning via hands-on practice and a tenacity to learn. And I passed my next exam with just under a perfect score. My instructors, recognizing dedication, the thirst for knowledge, and being a natural teacher, as I was helping other students with their exams, suggested a mentoring position. And I began mentoring on CompTIA content. I thought, this is an amazing opportunity. What could go wrong? Well, the roses were about to wilt. I continued my studies, and when it came time to take my active directory exam, I failed twice. Well, that's where the doubt started to set in. Can I do this, I wondered? I stifled the doubt as my path was about to change and I didn't even realize it. You see, a scheduling error happened and I was approached by Don Pizzette and Mr. Ronnie Wong with an offer to sit a tech instructor position teaching CompTIA content so the class didn't have to be canceled. While not convinced that I could do this adequately, I took the offer. And at the end of that first year, uh, you know, as a technical instructor, I placed first as the top tech instructor in the worldwide network. In subsequent years, I took two consecutive top two tech instructor awards. With a history in teaching tech classes, I was approached by Tim Broom and Don Pizzette to move to IT Pro TV and continue as a new type of technical instructor. One called an edutainer. And here I am. Today, I'm a member of the CompTIA Instructor Network, and I sit on the CompTIA Instructor Advisory Board. And this is my story. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. And also, in the comment section below, we want to hear your story, because remember, your story matters, and your story might inspire others as well. I'm Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV. Thanks for watching, and tune in next week for the next edition of How to Get Started in IT.